subscribe to our channel click on bell icon you never miss any update hello i am kiran here i welcome you to kiran testing academy so i welcome you to the very important session test cases yes test cases have a very high priority or high importance in your testing career you will be associated with the test cases in your daily life like either you will be writing the test cases or if you are lead you are you will be reviewing it okay whatever it may be but you will be associated with the test cases every day so test cases plays a very very important role in your qa profile so let's begin with the test cases what is a test case how we write the test case where we write it so all those things we'll discuss now okay so let's begin let's start with a very simple definition like what is a test case so if you have any inputs you can give me what is a test case so i'm saying that a test case is nothing but a document with an expected result it's a simple document which contains some expected result so from where you'll get this expected result from your use cases or functional requirement document or user story or whatever it may be means you are going to get this information from some documents some expected result right fine so we have written some expected result in this document it's good so what is an expected result whenever we perform some operation then only we can expect something from the system isn't it assume that if you have clicked on delete mail then only i can expect that mail should be deleted correct if i click on compose mail then i can expect that that compose mail tab should open a uh, means if i perform some user operation then i can expect something from system if i sit idle then you can't expect anything from the system isn't it so if you have operation then will you have a option to expect something from the system right so let us improvise it a test case is nothing but a document with user action and expected result right so what are the operations we are doing on the application and how the system is going to respond just expectation really we don't know whether it happens or not just an expectation fine now assume that you are trying to check a login functionality then what we need to do you need to write a username you need to write a password you need to click on sign in after clicking on sign in we are expecting that whether it is taking you to the desired page or not here what is your expectation taking you to some certain page but here you are using multiple operations yes to, means multiple user actions we have only one expectation but we will be doing multiple user operations means you will be opening a website writing the username writing the password click on sign in then we are expecting something means some cases will be having a series of user actions right so let us improvise this a test case is nothing but a document with series of steps of user actions and its subsequent responses or expected result so what all we have in the test case what is user is going to do in a step by step that is what series of steps and along with that what we are expecting from the system so this two user actions and expected result these two are drafted from your requirement documents either it may be frs use case or user story what not okay from some requirement documents you are going to draft them clear okay do we have any rules to write the test case i can say not too much rules only only one or two rules the major rule is make or write the test case as simple as possible don't make it complicated whenever you write the test case lot of cases you will be executing it some cases your team member or some other may execute it in that case even you need to understand it isn't it so make it simple so that everyone understands it okay yes now what type of test cases we have so we have functional test cases non functional ui performance like that's we have a list of it i'm not talking about that so how many ways we'll test an application generally we need to test an application with 
valid and invalid data. Whenever we test an application with valid data, we call them as positive test cases or a valid flow test cases. Whenever we write a valid flow test cases or positive test cases, we need to expect that system should accept it. Okay, we have negative test cases. Whenever we write any test cases with invalid data, we need to expect that system should reject it. Okay, yes. So where we write the test cases, this is also very important. Generally, we can write it any editor. If you want, you can write it in the notepad. If you want, you can write it in wordpad. Yes, but those are not such suitable. Not a proper format for that. Generally, we'll be writing in Excel because it has a proper structure which has rows and columns where we can write the test cases easily. Not only that, this test cases can be exported to test management tools also if you write in Excel. Okay, so I can say either you can write in Excel or in some test management tools like Zira or ALM also support that. They have uh, test manage because there are test management tools. Obviously, they will have some option. So where we can write the test cases directly over there. If you want, you can write there or you can write in the Excel sheet. So Excel sheet is what you call most easiest option or I can say easy to access rather than saying easy uh, option. I can say easy to access option. You can send easy email to anyone if you want. But whereas which are in ALM or Zira, it is a bit complex uh, every time to log into the server and make changes to it. Okay. So whereas if you have in Excel, it is very easy to use okay easy available too now let's see what we do is now uh, as i said earlier uh, i will show you one test case template okay and let's see how it looks like every company uses its own template the thing is that okay every company uses its own template almost it has the similar fields the test case templates which is used by my company it may be the same with your company too with few diff few changes but ultimately you can manage it it's not that completely different so first thing every company uses their own test case template template in the sense which has some predefined components in it that's it this is an a generic test case i can say a general test case okay here we have all the project details at the top and after that we have some fields some column names test case id test case description step name test data step description expected result actual and status in some cases we can see preconditions also in some test cases income test cases we'll see priorities and severities not severities we'll see some priorities so that all we'll see it in uh, coming classes but this is a basic template okay excel sheet where we have some predefined components almost similar like uh, with few color changes or few uh, information change will be there in the test cases right so i mean to say if you have hands on one type of test case that's enough whatever uh, the other template may look like but still you may handle it not too much big difference okay yep that is a point next so we'll see like uh, each and every column in the excel sheet what it represents for okay let's begin that as i said you can see that uh, the top position is all about uh, general information like project module and what are the documents you have any reference author any inspections or reviews has been done everything those will be written over there the very first column uh, that is test case uh, id generally this is an unique id which will start from test case 001 if you have one more test case, that will be test case 2, 3, 4, so on like that. Generally, it will start with a unique number. So what is this test case ID? It's a label. Label for the test case. Yes. So we have a label for a book, right? Same like that, it's a label for the test case. So what it for? What is the number of the test case? So test case 1, 2, 3, 4, so on like we can write it. A unique number will be given. Uh, for each test case and it follows some naming convention actually you can see that first test case id after that the main project then module if you have any sub module then sub module then functionality if you can see it here test case 001 e-banking is a main project name home page 
is a module we don't have any sub module so functionality is visitor links means if someone looks at the test case id they need to understand on which functionality we are writing it's a label right yes next is very important test case description literally it explains why we are writing test case 001 what is your goal what is your main intention purpose of test case simply we'll not write test case right we'll have some goal what is that why we are writing the test case so that should be given in the test case description then step name will be generally step 1 step 2 step 3 or 1 2 3 4 the thing is that every step name should have at least one step description and expected result at least one step description and expected result yes test data okay so before to test data let me talk about uh, test step description and expected result just have a look on the step description enter url and click on go click on home page click on personal banking click on corporate banking these are the operations what we do right step description in the sense the operations what should be performed on the application right what is expected result whenever i perform this operation if you have a look on this click on personal banking whenever i do this operation according to the expectation system should display information about personal banking means step description and expected result as i have given information in the definition what is test case sequence of character sequence of or series of steps with the user action and its subsequent response literally sequence of steps with the step description and expected result that is what it means correct yes now what is test data test data is nothing but to perform some operations in the step description enter url what is that url will be writing in the test data column as in the enter username and password what is that username and password we'll be writing that in the test data column this is writing the test cases okay once after writing the test cases after few days application will be available for the testing so while testing the application whatever given in the step description you are going to perform that on the end application yes you are going to perform that on the end application now whenever we perform any operation on the end application right then what happens we'll get some response from the system okay we'll get some response from the system that response is nothing but actual result whenever we perform any operation on the application or whenever we perform the step description on the application we'll get some response that response will be written in the actual okay after writing that response in the actual then we need to compare expected and actual if both are identical it's pass else it is fail this is what it going to happen and this is the definition or this is what the explanation of your test case template okay now let's go ahead and let's start writing the test cases before starting uh, writing the test cases let's uh, do some practice this let us do some net practice okay so let's try to write a test case for elevator a lift okay take your time take your pen and paper and put everything on the paper just think like uh, what are the possible ways we can test it for the lift or you can take an example of coin box you can test take an example of pen drive okay so just take an example of uh, elevator or lift now just take a couple of minutes and put it down whatever comes in your mind functional ui load everything just try to put it okay fine hope you have written it now let's see uh, what are the possible ways we can test it first uh, we'll be checking all the floor button stoppage means uh, we are going to check that whether it's stopping in all the floors or not and we are going to check the emergency button or if you have some emergency phone number or we have some phone right calling facility in the lift we'll check that whether it's working or not and ui 
check whether it is displaying the floor information properly or not from inside and outside either it may be a display or voice whatsoever it may be you are in so and so flow assume that it says that you are in second floor and really you are in the second floor or not from inside and as well as from outside too check whether the fans and light are working properly or not priority so generally buttons in the lift have high priority than outside means uh, if a passenger as assume that in a lift has want to go to the third floor he has clicked on a button 3 or third floor button and a person from outside has been pressed ground button so normally the priority should be given to the person who is in a lift so it should take you to the third floor it should drop that person okay then it should come to the ground floor and to pick up this the person who has clicked on the ground floor that's so that is what and moreover uh, assume that you have two people on the lift and one want to go to third floor another one to go on to the fifth floor okay in that cases even the fifth fifth floor person has been clicked first third floor has been clicked next but still it should go in a sequence it should go to the third and then it should go to the fifth upward direction okay means the prioritization how it should go so that should be also work properly right next assume that uh, we are in a ground floor okay and uh, a person uh, need to go on to the minus 1 and the person want to go on to the 1 so in this uh, type of like priority will be given to a person who has clicked it first okay so like this so this priority is uh, will be written and accordingly whether it's working or not you need to check it and the door sensors how the door sensors are working right whether they are closing uh, at a specific time and if some obstruction is there it's it's opening or not look all these things we are going to check it and overweight also whether the overweight alarming is giving or not and what happens if a power fail whether it's going to give alarm and it's going to stop uh, at a desired uh, or nearest uh, floor or not so like this we can write multiple test cases okay depending on that many many if you want you can write a 50 or 60 test cases or uh, options also okay but i have written this few uh, just you write it uh, you think and if you have uh, time just just continue it and write it and uh, you can send that information to my mail also okay you can check uh, my courses live classes and self learn videos in the description okay you can even you can find my email address my website also in the description okay yep. so now let's write the test cases so what test case uh, will plan it so first we'll write a test case with gmail okay simple gmail test case we'll write it so once we open this gmail home page this is where it will take you to so my point is that i am not going to check valid or invalid data here just i want to check only one thing i have valid username and password i know that uh, it will be logging into the machine i have valid username and password so my expectation or my motto or why i am writing this test case is after giving a username and password and if i click on sign in i need to check that whether it is taking you to the inbox or not inbox so navigating to the inbox is what i am expecting from the system okay so let's write the test case for this so just let's see the ui first first we'll be opening the website okay this is the gmail home page once after coming to the gmail home page will be giving a valid username and click on next once we click on next it will accept the username and it will ask us to write the password once after writing the password again if you click on next it will take you to the inbox that is how it works 
okay if it is really taken to the inbox my test is passed else the test is failed so let's write the test cases for that So let's start here. This is the test case template with these fields. Test case description, as I said, it should follow with a unique member, test case 001. And in the Gmail, we are trying to work and we are trying to test uh, login or inbox functionality as well. That. Okay. So why we are conducting this test? Test case description, core intention, your goal or scope should be written to verify. whether system navigate to inbox after login this is what i need to test it so after performing the login operation whether it will take you to the inbox or not that is what we need to test it right step name generally start with the step one so what is your first step we need to be opening the browser and entering some url open browser enter URL and click on go or click on next so what is that URL you can write it here www.gmail.com okay just an example so whenever we open a browser whenever we enter username Sorry, whenever we uh, enter gmail.com into the browser, open browser and enter URL. Generally, system will take you to the page where we can have a login operation. System should navigate or system should display gmail login page. On that login page, on a step 2, First, we'll be writing the username or email. Enter email and click on next. What is that email? You can write it here. So, after entering email and click on next, system should. accept username and it should display password field perfect step 3 enter password click on next so what is the password you can write it 
So if you do, anyways, we need to give the valid data because our main intention is to check whether it is moving out to the inbox or not. So what we are expecting, we are expecting that it should take it to the inbox. We have entered the password and click on next. And now the expectation come system should navigate to inbox as simple as that. So this is how we write the test case, right? So after writing the test case, application is ready now. Yes, developer said that current uh, application is ready. You can test it. So whatever given in the step description, like step one, step two, step three, we are going to perform on the application. What does step one says? Okay, what I do is uh, make the things clear. What is step one stays? Open browser, enter URL and click on go. So I'll open a browser. I've entered the username and click down go. As if not. Okay. So now this is the my page. The first step when I enter URL and click down go, it has taken me to this page. Alright. So we need to write the same activity. And what happens whenever I open a browser? Enter URL and click on go. System had displayed system had displayed home page or login page. So what is the step two now? The step two says enter email and click on next. So let me enter the email. So am I am entering my email? So whatever given in this test data, that email should be provided here. Whatever the data you write in the test data, that should be provided. But here I am giving my uh, email address and just click on next. What happened here? Leave about the expected result. You are not worried about the expected result. You need to know, check what's actually happened. What happened? It has displayed a password field after accepting username. So you need to write the same thing. System. accepted username and displayed password box or password field whatsoever it may be password field next what does step 3 says enter password and click on next so let me enter the password. This should be a valid password. And click on next. So we are in the inbox, right? See, the inbox is highlighted and all my emails are listed up here. System had navigated to inbox simple here we go test case one step one this is a step description user action and this is what we got from the system now let's compare expected and actual so here it says that it should get the login page. Yes, we got it. This is passed. And next step, it should accept the username and display the password field. Yes, it is. This is passed. And the third, assume that we are assumed that it should take it to the inbox and successfully it has taken to the inbox. So all the steps has been passed and this test case is literally passed. Okay, this is how we write the test case. In the next video, we are going to talk about writing the test cases for user registration page we'll see it and after that we'll take some uh, frs document we'll try to write the data we'll try to derive the data and we'll write the test cases further too it's a continuation of this class okay 
yes so bye for now if you like the video subscribe it subscribe to my channel okay and click on that uh, like button and click on that bell button for more updates okay and for my live classes and recorded video sessions you can just check the description thank you so much